What's up, PokeTubers and viewers? Today we have part one of part of two parts for our 220 card return we sent back in March. We're gonna start with the first half with some Charizard, some promos and staff, EX series, and some some wizard stuff. And then the second part of the video will be the rest of the returns. So we're doing a little dual broadcast with Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, jump over to Instagram and follow, you might catch these returns live. So, starting us off on the Charizard pile, we have 2012 Boundaries Cross Charizard Reverse Hollow. Does that look good on the, uh, the camera phone too? Yep, looks great. Perfect. Next we have 2009 uh, Holographic Charizard Level X for Supreme Victors with a Mint 9. A nice looking card. Someone said guns are out. <laughs> Just hit up the gym, the pokey gym. Didn't get a badge though. Hey, I, I gotta make this video for tomorrow morning on YouTube, so had to film it tonight after the gym. Next, we have 2003 Charizard from EX Dragon E Series. Looks really nice. That's the second one I've graded of those and uh, pulled an eight. And next we have another Charizard Hollow from Evolutions. If you've been keeping up with the PSA videos, I've graded so many of these and have gotten zero tens. It's really tough on the tens on those, but nine is good. And a reverse Charmeleon from Evolutions with a revert uh, mint nine. Have a few of those. And these got mixed in, these are supposed to be later, but we have Typhlosion first edition from Neo Genesis Holographic with a near mint eight. Your mint to mint eight, and we had a Togetic first edition hollow with a mint nine. These are just some random first edition hollows I had sitting around. Okay, um, next is some promos. We're gonna start off with the Furious Fist X and Y Torchic staff promo. This is the City Championship. This one got an eight. The cuts on these are kind of tough. Send a few of these. Second one got a nine. I really like the uh, uh, X and Y staff promos in the city championship. I love the cross hatching hollows on these. So these are all staff versions of this Torchic. And lastly with a nine. Next we have 2012 black and white dark explorers of leafy on reverse with a near mint eight. Wait, go back. It's hard, you keep, you don't put them in the same spot every time, so it's a focus. Okay, I'll try to keep it consistent. Next is a little bit older Leafeon, 2008 uh, Majestic Dawn of Reverse Foil with a nine. These older reverses with this all this holographic area, it's very hard to get nines and tens. A lot of these, if you buy them, come scratched up. They're really easy to scratch. That's a very nice, very nice nine. Next we have some more staff and these are the state championship uh, from 2013 Plasma Freeze Leafeon staff reverse with the same cross hatching as a Torchic. If you've seen some of the other recent videos, we've done the uh, Glaceon, which was the city championships for that year. This is the state. And then next we have that same exact card, but the regular reverse from that set with a near mint to mint eight. Oh, I'm like this, there's okay. a glare. Thank you, producer. Second. Someone said, I'm a big fan of Majestic Dawn, Leafeon slash Glaceon regular hollows. Yeah, I don't have, I don't know if I have any in here. We'll see what comes up. Uh, but I do like those from that era. I want to get some of the level X's that are kind of hard to get mint to grade, but there's another one. Next is the 2010 Heart Golden Soul Silver Leafeon Hollow pre-release staff. So since this is a pre-release, it, it does have the set name on it. If you guys have been following along with the pre-releases, this is a staff one um, with a near minute eight, but this hollow is pretty sweet. It has a swirl going on there. And I sent a second one, which received a nine. So no 10 on those. That's a Pretty hard card being about seven years old to find a nice staff one um, in a gym mint 10. Next we have 
probably the highlight of these Glaceon Leafeons is the regular holographic, uh, they're calling it cracked ice hollow from black and white plasma freeze with That's a gym a mid 10. That's a beaut. Who said that? Uh, Nico Maglio. Mag Magliulo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it is a beauty. I do agree with Nico. Um, <laughs> mid 9 on the second one. And an 8 on the third one. It's just hit or miss with these. You look at them, they all look mint, and then you, you hit a bunch of random ones. And the fourth one also got an 8. Next, we have some more, which I graded a couple in the last orders is the staff version, which is the city championship staff from that year with the crosshatch hollow. I sold the 10, the nine is still up for sale that I graded the first time. Uh, they were both pop one at the time, um, the mint nine, mint 10. I think right now, if you include everything I got here, plus the one I sold, that is all the pop in these right now. They're great looking cards, great for displaying. So if you're interested, let me know. There's a nine. Another nine. There's another one. Next we have, continuing with our staff cards, we have the 2008 Diamond and Pearl, I think it's base, our Legend Awakens it seems. Um, the state championship staff Dragonair, which is actually just a regular um, non-hollow card from the set. Um, was an uncommon card, but this is a staff version. It's a pretty simple art, but it looks pretty nice, and I'm happy with a mint nine on this with this being from 2008. And I sent two of these in that I had, and both of them received nines. Continuing with our staffs and pre-releases, we do have the 2010 Heart Gold Soul Silver Pichu pre-release staff. I sent a bunch of these. This is a great looking art. Um, I love how these are printed on here. I really like, if you've watched my videos, the older EX sets and the reverses, how the names are printed. And that's why I really like these pre-release cards. It's a great looking artwork and great looking uh, holographic. I sent five of these and none of them received a 10, but we did hit a few nines. But that's a great card. I did look at the pop. I don't think anybody else has graded those at this point, but I'm, I'm happy that most of them got nines. My hands fall asleep. My hands fall asleep. We're gonna have to take a break. <laughs> we only got one through one pile. I know. When we get close to 10 minutes. Wait, we're just doing the, these last three right right now? This pile? Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so that Someone, was, People are giving you love, lots of hearts. Give me love, give my producer love. <laughs> she got towel on her elbows to protect herself from the kitchen table. <laughs> it's hard being a producer for me. I don't even have a tripod. We don't even put out donuts, any snacks. It's, it's running thin around here. It's the worst. I don't even get paid. If we don't even get, we've got to get a little more YouTube views to uh, make up for it. So that was all the staff and, and city championship pre-releases. Next we have some random stuff. We'll see what order we're in here. So next we have 2006 Vaporeon from Pop 3. This is holographic number six of 17 in the set. Great looking holographic with a mint nine. Someone asked if we're holding out and he said, let's see it all. But you said you're doing two videos, right? Yeah, it'll take way too long. I, that, this part is a little better, so you're not missing out too much, but you gotta check both parts out. Next, we have 2006 Flareon Pop Series 3, a Jim Mint 10. Great looking, just regular card. Someone, another comment. Uh, yeah, the EX Series, you mean? That reverse, the, that reverses are better than the regular hollows, in my opinion. That is correct, I agree. Uh, they're great looking, I love those. Um, 2012 Black and White Dark Explorers. I think this is a pop one. This is the Reverse Vaporeon Mint 9. Take a look at the Reverse Hollow. It has the energy print on it. Those ho Reverse Hollows in the set are pretty cool with that. I was hoping for a 10 on this, but it looks great, great in a 9. Continuing along, and I lied, here's, an, here's more staff cards. and um, Here's the 2012 Black and White. Move it to your left. Right. Dark Explorers. This is the Staff City Championship Promo Eevee with the cross hatching hollow that you've seen on a lot of the other cards here. Um, sadly, this one received an eight. I think this might be the only one I sent. But next, this might be a fan favorite of this return uh, in terms of artwork. We do have the 
national championship espionage staff from that same year what to go along with the evening. Uh, if you work at these events, the, the, oh, the city, the national, like literal staff. or the statewide, you're the staff at the event and they give you these cards. I, I was like, I'm not really looking at them, but I was thinking they all were holding like a staff in their hand. Oh That's my gosh, thumbs were. the video up for that. The, <laughs> yeah, all these Pokemon are holding staffs with their opposable thumbs. <laughs> it says staff right on the card. <laughs> Um, so I'm saying, OMG, that Espeon, I'm missing that one. Well, you better contact me. We'll, we'll get the hook up. And someone said, where do you get these cards before you grade them? That's a secret. Yeah, a secret. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get them from all over. Uh, just buy singles and review if they're mint. I do do a lot of hunting locally, online. Um, also with a, a near mint eight. Send lots of hearts if you think I'm going to win the next pack Can battle. Can you look and see if you're focusing? <laughs> I am focusing. Okay, because last time I just was, want people to so know who's boss. This that's an eight. That's an eight. I'm just going fast on these. Seven. Ew. So all eights and sevens. I don't know how that happened on all those. <laughs> you're getting hearts, so getting that, hearts. That's awkward. Next we have a bunch of these Vulpixes. Dolbasaur. My boy, did he just yeah, join? Yeah, he joined. He's late, freaking West Coaster. Uh, he's late. He missed all the good stuff. Everyone telling me he missed the good stuff. But I do have some more of the Alola, Lowland Bull Picks from the Jump Festa. This is my giveaway on Instagram. If you're watching on YouTube, check it out. Also, if you're watching on Instagram, haven't entered, go to the picture, comment, and get entered. Also, have these for sale on the sales page. Check it out. Open offers on those. Great looking card. Um, all those got tens because they're Japanese cards, so the quality is really high. Next, we have some random stuff. We have uh, EX Power Keepers Energy Holographic with a ten, Jim Mint ten, Near Mint eight. <laughs> Next, we have Team Rock Returns because I've sent so many of these hollows. We have a Jim Buff Mint nine with the with uh, the reverse logo we were talking about earlier me and my boy Nico Kingdra Mint 9 regular hollow this is a sick looking artwork here this is the meow from Holland Phantoms with a Mint 9 dark meow dark type or metal type things dark type Dragonair from EX Dra uh, EX Team Rocket Returns I think I got a couple of these in 10 and one of the, the last returns Another one with the nine. This is the first time I graded one of these. This is Team Aqua Team Magma Sharpedo Hollow. And that's I think when Sharpedo came out in that generation of Team Aqua Team Magma with a with a nine. The next one of my favorite cards. I've graded this one a few times. Sadly, this one got an eight. The Snorlax from Dragon Frontiers. Delta type, uh, leaf type. I've graded the reverse and the regular. I think two of the regular, one of the reverse. Uh, trying to get a 10 on that. It's just hard to find that card for, for a cheap price. And this is probably the best value here. Uh, Dark Espeon from Neo Destiny pulled another 10. That's the second 10 I've hit on the Espeons from this set. Uh, so it's a great looking hollow. Amazing card, says Nico. It is, it's a beautiful card. And the second one, pulled a nine so that's great like that next we have Espeon from Neo Discovery with an eight I think that was a random haul I had around and these next ones are Neo hollows I've had sitting in, in binders for a while uh, jump Pluff first edition from Neo Genesis with a nine you're okay you need to like tilt it down because on here it's just like really there you go okay, okay. We'll make sure it's all you're seeing is like the reflection of the light. Well, I don't want, I don't want that. Okay, there you go, that's better. <laughs> okay, next is Bell Awesome with a nine. Azumarill with a nine. And I couldn't believe this because I looked over these a bunch of times like two years ago. Ampharos pulled a Gym Mint 10. That's a great, that's a great one there. And that obviously is for sale if you guys are interested. We have Giovanni Trainer from Gym Challenge in first edition with a Gym Mint in. Back to back Gym Mints on those. And 
I had this sitting around with that as well. It's Giovanni's Persian, which I was like, ah, oh, it looks like a seven or eight, and I sent it and it got, it got, luckily got a nine. It's a great looking hollow from that set. Underrated. That's cool. Next is Legendary Collection Reverse Hollow, Mint Nine. It's an arena. It is Kayla recording. Who's asking that? Dolbasaur. Dolbasaur, my boy. He needs a film crew. He has to. He can't do <laughs> selfie vids like me. Uh, Vaporeon EX. This is my first Vaporeon EX I've graded. Pulled a mint nine. Pretty pleased about that. That's a great looking hollow right there. Scoop that up before someone else does. Next we have Espion EX. I graded a few of these and I have not hit a 10. I don't think I've hit a nine yet and this is the first one. So I'm very happy with that. I think the other two I might have hit eights, sevens and eights. Next is one of the better cards of the return. Jirachi EX, it pulled a gym mint 10. Great looking card from, that's EX. Okay, this one's Crystal Guardians. I know there's a Deoxys Hollow. That's an awesome looking one right there. Next we have Sharpedo EX. Pulled another nine. I have a few of these for sale if you're interested. If you like Sharpedo. Next we have Rayquaza from EX Deoxys with a mint nine. Wiggly Tiff with an Air Man 8. <laughs> That's my nickname. No. That's what they call me at You're the gym. Jigglypuff. That's what they call me at the gym. They call you Jigglypuff. <laughs> Second one there. <laughs> Nitto King with an 8. So both those got 8s. They do have the print line on them, the two legendary collections I sent in this, and they sadly got 8s, which other ones I've sent with the print line have got 9s. And somehow another Wiggly Tiff with a 9. Next we have Magmar EX from EX Ruby and Sapphire with a Mint 9 from the E-Series. A lot of hollow space here to get scratched. So happy to pull a 9 there, but even more happy that the second one in this thing, I thought I sent three, pulled a Gym Mint 10. So I've been sending a lot of the EX Series EXs and probably hitting a rate of like 5% on 10s. And it's been very, very rough so far. Um, EX Power Keepers Metagross, or Metagross, depending on how you pronounce it, with a Mint 9. I think it's the first time I've graded that one. And the second one got a Mint 9. So we're down to the last pile, albeit it is almost the tallest pile. So let's get into it. Rayquaza Delta Species with a Mint 9 from EX Dragon, Lightning type. Second one received a mint nine. Third one near mint seven. Sad to report on these EX Dragon Frontiers Delta Dragonite Leaf type, no tents. But we do have a lot of nines in stock, so check it out. Oh this God. is a great looking card. I, no, I was, I was like. hoping so bad for a 10 on this one. This is a, this is like one of my favorite EXs from those sets. Cause I, everybody knows I like the Delta cards. And I am looks a salesman. Like you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a salesman. I am a supplier dash vendor. I got what you need. Sounds sketchy. <laughs> There's nothing sketchy about PSA. These are certified legal grades. Okay. <laughs> so I sent a bunch of these and no, no tens, a couple eights. Maybe next time. Next we have Kingdra EX from EX Dragon with a nine. I think that might be the second one I graded to that. Next we have Ladius from EX Dragon Frontiers with a nine. And the second one also pulled a nine. I haven't had a 10 on that one either. I think that's the fourth, third and fourth I've seen of that. Next is Raichu EX from EX Emerald with a nine. That's a, it's a nice looking card. It's a- Is that really how you say it? Raichu? I thought it was Raichu. That's how he, the Pokemon sounds like it's Raichu. Yeah, isn't that it's, his name? He's saying his it's name. It's Raichu, All right. not Raichu. But EX Emerald is an underrated set. There's not, a, don't see a lot of cards get graded from that. Next is one that I've graded before. I think I got an eight last time. Team Aqua Team Magma Reiku EX. That eight went quick last time. This is a great looking artwork on this one. 
Next we have Tyranitar, mint nine. I have a couple of those. This is a nice Delta Lightning type. And next, EX Sandstorm. What's this one called? Raichu. Raichu. I'm probably saying it wrong. You know I say I'm all wrong. I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Uh, EX Power Keeper, Skarmory with a mint nine. First time grading that card. Second one got a nine. You need to come read all these comments before you exit out. Can you do, do that? I, do they go away? Hold on. I think so. No, they don't. Oh. You can scroll all the way up to the beginning. Near mint seven. For the YouTube fans, if you're still watching, we are recording. We have Swampert EX with a mint nine for Chris Guardians. That's a great looking art. Great looking hollow background there with the green. I'm not sure if I graded that one previously. Second one with a nine. So two of those. We have Crystal Guardians Kyogre with a mint nine. It's raining hard. A second one with a mint nine. Uh, from the same set we have the Groudon. The artwork is really similar in this set for those two. You know, they're, they're always kind of tied together. And the second one with a mint nine. Next we have Crystal Guardians again. This one's pretty cool, really shiny, a lot of crystals. Delcaddy EX. It's pretty neat. I like that one, she looks sassy. Yeah, those, those look pretty sassy. Both got mint nines, great looking art on that. This one also is a nice art. Unseen Forces Tyranitar EX, or sorry, Typhlosion. Uh, definitely like that one a lot. <clears throat> Second one with a nine. Uh, Electrode from Fire Red Leaf Green with a nine. That's a great looking art as well. There's so many good arts on these uh, old EXs. Next we have uh, Scyther uh, Mint Nine from Ruby Sapphire. I had a bunch of these. I think all the nines I had just sold out last week. I'm trying to get a 10 on this. I've hit 10 on a few of these from Ruby and Sapphire with the Aerodactyl and now the um, Magmar and the, the Mewtwo, I think I hit 110 before. Next we have a, one that I was so excited to get and was praying for a 10 on is the Lapras from that set. It's a great looking artwork, very popular Pokemon. I think this is the only one I've ever graded this and I was really hoping to get a 10. Someone said still waiting on them to leak the artworks. I don't know what that means. Artworks for the next set, I think maybe is what they're talking about. Next we have Hitmonchan from the same series with a mint nine. And last but not least, Hitmonchan with a nine. So that was part one of the 220 return. Trying to make it a little shorter. The next one will be coming up shortly. Just a little preview, a little reverse Delta series here. There we go. So, no one can see that. No one can see it. <laughs> except that except you too. But if you enjoy these videos, make sure you thumbs up. Comment below what was your favorite of the return. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. What's my Instagram fan doing? <laughs>